Hey guys, Ace here from SouthernTechEngineering.com and today I'm going to show you some quick tips on um, organizing your email, um, especially with Gmail. So we're going to get in there today and do that. So this is uh, one of the emails from one of my websites at NorthAlabamaTechRepair.com or NATechRepair.com, sorry. And you can see I'm just flooded with this spam from my website. And it took me a while to figure it out. I did a lot of research and and so I figured it out. So we're gonna go over a couple things here. First, we're gonna go over labels. And that's my phone going off, of course. Actually, it's going off from this email. So, I don't know if you can see that. We need to get that fixed because I'm tired of my phone battery dying because of all these emails I'm getting. So um, to make a label, you can do it several ways. I'm gonna go ahead and do it like this. Um, so click on one of the emails. Like this one says NA admin. It's basically telling me that I was subscriber on my website. That's cool. So, go on this little button right here, little down arrow says more. You go filter messages like this, and you'll get this. And mine says info at natechrepair.com. Sweet. Now you can do several things. You can filter them uh, via subject or the words. So subject right here are the words. Now mine, I'm just going to filter the entire email because they're all spam from my own website. So you go here, it says create filter with this search. Now, you have several different options you can do. Um, you can forward it to another email address. You can delete it. We're going to get into that later. Or you can apply a label to it. So if you go to apply a label, it just says choose, choose label. And you can even do one right here that you already have made or you can make a new label. So right now we're going to make a new label. Here we go. Just please enter a new label name. So this one's going to be um, website uh, I can't type today. Website uh, and I'm going to put subs. Let's create. You can create the filter. Alright now once it's labeled they're all going to be in website subs. Now um, starting from when they mail it to you. If you want to put them all in that, you'd go right back to where you were, and you'll grab, just press that more button again, and you grab the email. So mine says info at natechrepair.com. Sweet. Alright. And right here you can type in from, then uh, like the colon, and copy and paste that. Press search. Basically the same page. Um, click right here. Select and all. And you can say, click on see all conversations that match this search. So I have 50 of them. I got them all. Now you can go and you can move them. Uh, sorry. You can label them. Um, however you want. So I can put it on website subs like that and apply it and uh, confirm bulk action press OK if you want to. Alright sorry I had a phone call. Um, so back to where we were. So as you can see now they're all labeled website subs. Great. Now what if we wanted to delete all these um, in the future. So instead of it going to the label, you just want to go to your trash. Well, we've already done that once. Same exact process. Go over here, press more on one of the emails. And of course, now it's going to be slow. That's Gmail for you. Okay. Filter messages like this. Um, with that, from that email, create filter with the search. And I want it to be deleted. So you're going to click on delete it, um, and then press create filter. For some reason, that's been really slow. But there you go. So now, in the future, they will all be deleted. And you can see right here, Gmail is being really slow. Now, label. What we can probably do, we can just go ahead and delete that label. Um, I don't want it. 
I don't care about if I have one more or one less subscriber on my website. Now I have to do a bulk delete. Bulk delete is very important because it will save your inbox from all these randoms. So type in from, colon, and then the email. And you're going to select all again. See all conversations like that. And you're just press delete. Confirm the bulk action. I'm going to say yes because I want them all to be deleted. And give it a second. And then when you're done, you're going to go back to your inbox. It's going to keep saying loading. Go back to your inbox and then they'll slowly disappear. Um, there's a little bit of a lag on it. I noticed that with Gmail. But um, eventually they will all start disappearing. There you go. I just scrolled down and did it. Now that went from 155 to 33 emails. That is so helpful. Especially keeping up. Um, if you have a business email and you're getting all these ads and stuff, you can mark them as spam. Doing the same way that I just showed you. Um, it helped me out a lot, and uh, I watched about four different videos, and they all have these separate things, and I really just wanted to put it all in one video for you and show you how to get it done. So, thanks for checking me out, guys. Remember, comment, like, subscribe, or tell me you hate me. I don't care. Check out my website at in uh, sorry southerntechengineering.com. Um, hopefully, I helped you out today. All right, peace.